They, my assistant just told me that this is self-check number 18. Well, I don't mean to put all this self-checking on you, but you know, I have to check myself. Because I know that I am strategically placed by God to be right here, right now, bringing this to you so that wherever you are on your journey, God brings you strength by an outside voice encouraging you to do the work of God. Now, I believe you are strategically placed by God. Your ministry, your organization, your 501, your church, your evangelism, ministering throughout the world, it is going to grow whenever you begin to follow these self-check principles. And here we are today in John chapter 12, verse 26. Whoever serves me must follow me. Now, I'm going to stop right there because I, I want you to ha have a look of that. Are you following God? I don't care what anybody else says. There will always be your detractors. There will always be people that see you in your downtime, see you in times when things are not going so good, see you in the mundane, and question whether God has you in that right spot. But I believe you're strategically placed. So remember, whoever serves Jesus Christ must follow Jesus Christ. And then the scripture goes on and says, and where I am, my servant also will be. Wow. Why would you be redundant? In his pattern of speech there, he says, you serve me, you follow me. Then he says, where I am, my servant also will be. I think there's a disconnect here. Because people that read the first part, oh, I follow you, God, they don't realize they have to be a servant. And that includes being his hands and feet. That means getting your hands dirty. That means sometimes picking up the little child, uh, the thing you think you've grown out of, and handling it again. You ought to be better at it. This time, you've already learned how to do it. You say, well, I've been through that. i got the t-shirt. I know. Well, then you should be able to do it with zeal and fervor and teach someone else to do it in such a way that you can move on. Because Jesus said, where I am, my servant also will be. So it's a progression. It is a progression. He's moving. So what kind of idea do you need? You don't have any problems. You just need an idea. My wife came to me a couple of days ago and she said, you know, you had an idea for, for my organization, Moms Against Hunger. She said, I think it's time to, to do that idea. I said, okay, here we go. Because she's the one that's got to follow God in that idea. She's the one that's got to be wherever he is. I can have an idea for you, but when you have an idea that God gives you, you also know when God is moving on and you got to move with him. Because the last sentence in that scripture, verse 26, says, My Father, watch it guys, My Father will honor the one who serves me. Now, I don't know how to get any more plain. And I don't have a lot of time. We used to preach an hour and a half. Now I'm preaching ten minutes. And I'm just telling you. He says, to get Father's honor, you've got to serve Jesus. And to get Jesus' leading, you got to follow him, and you got to get to where he's at. Let me ask you this question. Do you think you are where Jesus is at? Do you think... Man, asking myself that question, that's a pretty big self-check. Because if I am I where Jesus is at today? Because he has a strategically placed thing for me to do, a thing for me to work on, a thing for me to place. I, I personally believe I'm perfectly in the, the good, pleasing, and perfect will of God speaking to this camera and speaking to you today on take 10. I believe I'm in the right spot. You may listen to it five years after I've done it, but God has sowed a seed into the supernatural that is helping you understand, keep serving Jesus. But you've got to follow him with the serving Jesus. And, I'm, and pardon me, but Sunday morning and Wednesday night and, 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 and small group is not following Jesus. Jesus has a movement. He wants you to be in a certain place. I call it the right place at the right time every time. 
I'm supposed to be on this night 